there's a tired old story about artists in urban development where artists move into a neighborhood, they make it kind of sexy, uh, and because they're renters rather than owners, they get priced out of the neighborhoods that they've helped to enliven. The trick is to actually, to capture a piece of that, invest it in them so that they can continue to actually make a place vibrant over time. Our projects involve creating affordable space for the arts, but in a way that also helps to build and transform communities and neighborhoods. Regent Park is going through a 15-year uh, transformation from a low-income community of 7,500 people to a mixed-use, mixed-income community of 17,000. So the project involves temporarily relocating those 7,500 people and then reintroducing them, and the place becomes more healthy, dynamic, and inclusive, actually. Collaboration is absolutely key, and while collaboration sounds easy, it isn't. One of the things that we've learned is not just to approach it from what do we need from others, but what value do we bring to the table. So when you find somebody who's got a shared interest, how do you actually put that together into something, translate it into shared value? It's through that synergy that happens within our building. It's the mix of culture and people and different communities uh, that the projects really come to life and uh, have a life of their own, really.